Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you 8 latest defense updates. Number 1. MRFA to fill the fighter gap. The IAF combat power faces a potential gap prompting urgent calls for an interim solution. While its ambitious indigenous fighter program, the advanced medium combat aircraft takes flight. Air Chief Marshal V. R. Chaudhary in a recent interview sounded the alarm about depleting combat assets and the crucial need for the multi-role fighter aircraft program to fill the void. Next, small rotary tactical UAV unveiled by New Space. Bangalore's New Space Research and Technologies, a rising star in the Indian private defense sector, has picked the industry's interest with a glimpse of its latest creation, a small rotary tactical UAV that is unmanned aerial vehicle. While details remain under wraps, the image sparks speculation about its capabilities and potential application. Next, testing of missiles from Diga coast in Bengal by DRDO. In a significant development, India's Defence Research and Development Organisation is set to conduct a missile test launch from the Diga coast in West Bengal, marking the first time the state will host such an event. Typically, DRDO utilizes the neighboring state of Odisha for missile testing activities. Next, military personnel to be replaced with ex-servicemen in Maldives. Following a high-level meeting between India and the Maldives on Friday, the Maldivian government announced that India will replace its military personnel stationed in the island nation in two phases by May 10th. This decision comes amidst tension surrounding by the presence of Indian troops and the recent diplomatic controversies. Next, maritime prowess with Jaguar IM and Harpoon missile. In a rare treat for defense enthusiasts, the Indian Air Force recently shared an image on its X platform, formerly Twitter, showcasing its fleet of Jaguar IM maritime strike fighters equipped with AGM 84L Harpoon anti ship missiles. This image sent a wave of excitement through the defense community highlighting the capabilities of the specialized unit. Next, Iranian flagged vessel rescued. The Indian Navy foiled a piracy uh, attempt on the Iranian flagged fishing vessel with a crew of 11 Iranian and 8 Pakistani nationals along the east coast of Somalia in the latest in a series of such rescue missions in the region. Indian warship INS Sharda came to the rescue of F.V. Omaril after seven pirates boarded it and took the crew as hostages, officials said on Friday. Next, uh, more Navy units are deployed to protect merchant vessels. Indian Navy units are being deployed in a strategic water in the Djibouti, Djibouti Gulf of Aden, east coast of Somalia as well as in the North and Central Arabian Sea for protection of merchant vessels in view of the regional maritime security situations, the Defence Ministry said on Friday. Next. Women personnel being appointed as onboard warships. Women personnel are being appointed on board warships and also as special naval air operation officers in the Indian Navy. The government said in Lok Sabha on Friday. Minister of State and Defence Ajay Bhatt said permanent commission is being granted to women officer in second in 12 arms and services of the army in addition to the medical and dental corps as well as military nursing service. Thank you.